So hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CPP Nuts video series on multi-threading and this is really very really interesting topic because so many people talk about a uh, race condition but they actually don't give you the real life example and here we'll see the real life example. So and real life example meaning not just the theory part, I will show you the program itself. So let's try to understand like how a variable is getting incremented. Let's say if you have some x is equal to maybe 1 and you want to increment it and yeah before going there I want to explain you race condition with the help of incrementing a variable so if multiple threads are incrementing the variable they should end up incrementing the variable properly like if you want to increment the count let's say maybe 1 million times in that case there are two threads t1 and t2 and if we have let's say some global variable g initially it is zero now both the threads are trying to increment this one million time so the result should be g should be having two million right because t1 incremented one million time and t2 incremented one million time so basically they are just doing g plus plus that's it so result should be two million right and it is not going to be two million we'll see that and then we'll try to solve it so let's try to understand what g plus plus means because t1 and t2 both will do this g++ only right so how this actually happens so let's break this down g is equal to g plus 1 right so what happens when you increment this computer will have to increment it by 1 right so whatever the value is initially it is 0 right so 0 will be stored in some register and then the value will be incremented no I should not write like this and then 0 plus 1 will be done and then it will restore back to g so meaning it will reassign okay so let's assume that these three operations will happen with g is equal to g plus 1 and t1 and t2 both will do this let's see where the problem might come so let's say t1 and t2 both at the same time started executing this g is equal to g plus 1 they both saw okay what is the current value 0 okay 0 I'll increment 0 plus 1 okay the same is going here also right 0 plus 1 okay now result is I will assign back sorry 1 and similarly 1 so the result is still g is equal to 1 whereas it should be actually 2 so this is the problem and we will see this in life so here is the simple code I told you right we have time so I have taken 1 million time we will increment this counter and we will wait for these two threads and just simply print the counter let me just simply compile this compiled and if we'll execute it answer is not 2 million because they are messing up I'll run it multiple times and you will see all the time different outputs so this is the race condition and this is the problem the expectation was 2 million because it is fairly simple code I am telling dude both the threads increment this counter 1 million time so the result should be 2 million it is very simple to expect but this is not happening why I told you this this is what is happening here oh this is giving some face right oh good <laughs> okay now how to solve this let's try to quickly solve this now you know the problem right let's solve this how would you solve it include mutex yeah there's the solution we'll just say std mutex m and what m dot lock and here m dot unlock that's it now let's try to compile this compile successfully if we will run this answer is 2 million see and I'll run this many times and you will see it is 2 million all the time now you know that what is happening if you already know what is mutex but let me explain you because it is fun let's try to understand this with this example the moment t1 is actually trying to read it before t1 actually could do this operation or t2 could do this operation t1 actually acquired the critical section so t1 was actually doing this this and this and the whole thing for 1 million time and then only it was allowed for t2 to do all those things I mean the 1 million increment so now we have parallelized two threads but in a sequential fashion so first t1 will finish then t2 will finish or if you don't want this if you want a real concurrency let's do that 
I'll move it inside. Let me do this and I will move this unlock thingy inside this. Now for each and every increment and decrement, our threads will keep on locking and unlocking. And this is also going to work. Let me show you that. Let me compile this. And first, let me clear this out. Yeah, it compiled. Now it is running and it is working. See, there is no issue. Now it is actually concurrent counter execution. Otherwise, previously what we did, we allowed only T1 at a time and T1 was doing entire 1 million application, I mean 1 million increment and then it was allowed for T2 or vice versa. Whoever wins the race because it is a race condition, right? And if it was really helpful and you want to help me back, share it with your friends. It will be very helpful for me. I'll see you in the next videos, guys. Bye-bye. Take care.